Hello everybody, it's Larry and welcome to a special video, a special edition video. This isn't one of our regular series, but it's definitely one that everybody of all levels will probably want. Uh, particularly those with one monitor. Not everybody has two monitors, and even if you have multiple monitors, this still works. It just makes it that much more powerful, actually. Uh, but if you have one monitor, sometimes comparing information amongst multiple sites can be challenging. You might find, you know, you're working with your tree and ancestry, yeah, you're looking at it over at Family Search, maybe My Heritage, 23andMe, and you you've got all these different sites going. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to instead of looking at multiple tabs, I'm going to actually break them out, and I can do that by dragging and dropping these out. And what I want to do, and now that they're each one different browsers, let's say that I want to compare the one from Ancestry to the My Heritage one. Okay, so here's my heritage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that browser window and I'm gonna hold down the Windows key. And I'm gonna push the right arrow. Now the Windows key is on the bottom left of the keyboard between Control and Alt. And it's like that on all the Windows keyboard. So you're gonna hold that down and then over on the right of your inner button, there's that little gap over just under the delete button. It has usually four arrows, up, down, left, and right. We're gonna use all those, the up, down, left, and right. But we're gonna start by holding down Windows and hit the right arrow. Notice how it brings it to the right half of the screen and it brings the others over here. It brings all the alternates up. So I can you know, pick which one of these that I want in the left side. Now, now it's over on the right. If I click on this one on the left, I can move it to the right by holding down the windows and move it over to the right. I can go right and left by doing the right arrow, left arrow, right arrow, left arrow. So if I want this one to be on the left, I can click on it, hold down the windows, left arrow. Okay. And so that gives me the option of doing that. But let's say I want to watch all four of those at the same time. So we're going to start with Ancestry. We're going to put it at the top right. So I'm going to hold down Windows. And this time, you know, left and right, move it from the right, you know, middle, left, middle, right, going left and right arrows. Okay. I want it at the top. So now I'm going to, by holding down the Windows key, I'm going to push up arrow. Up arrow puts it in the top quarter of the page. All right, so I let that up and it's going to let me fill in the one that I want. So I'm going to put my heritage or family search right there. So right here, let's put this one down at the bottom right. Look at there. I can now watch all four browser pages scrolling up and down, sharing information, comparing information. Maybe even, you know, I'm working with a tree on this site and I need to paste it over into this site. By pulling this up by using the Windows key, well, let's say I want this one to be full screen on the right, I hold down Windows. And if I push down the Windows key and the right arrow, it'll actually cover the whole of the page. All right. So uh, you can take it down by doing down arrow, up arrow to move it up. OK, and you can move it around anywhere on the page you want using the Windows key and the up arrow. Try it out. Hold down the Windows key, move it all around. If you've got one monitor, it is really kind of fun. You can move it over there, put it on the left, the left, right, top left, top right, bottom right, anywhere you want on the, the screen. And it's just a great way of seeing multiple information. You know, browser tabs are great. Don't get me wrong. You know, if these were over on the in the same browser and they were here, you know, I can click here and I can copy and then I click here and then I can paste. Well, again, you know, we're all about maximizing. So if I can do this in such a way uh, that, you know, I can uh, maximize my time by having these be on the left and the right and where I can just copy here and paste here, that's a time saver. And as we spoke in another video, uh, those seconds add up to minutes and those minutes add up to hours. And, you know, when you think about that, uh, this can actually save lots of time. And so we had the video on the saving time on the ways to do searches. This one is just important. And this was actually in the comments uh, of one of the earlier videos and it was made by Jill E. don't know what the E stands for, but Jill, thank you. Uh, I thought it was such a valuable tip that I wanted to make a quick video of it and give you credit for recommending it. And so those of you who, you know, have some other helpful tips you think should go out there, let me know. Let's turn them into video and, and you can get credit for them as well. And as always, everybody, thank you and I appreciate you all. I hope this tip helped you. You guys have a great day.